Welcome to a TLDR boss guide, because sometimes you forget to soulstone a healer and getting into a pug group takes longer than the second coming of Jesus. Skolex is one of three choices after you kill the first boss in Sepulchre of the First Ones, and only has one phase. This is also a heavy movement fight, especially for melee, but I guess you chose that life when you rolled an inferior DPS class. This fight revolves around a stacking dot and seeing how long your healers can go without resetting them. This goes off throughout the fight, does a bit of raid wide, and applies a stack to everyone. You'll also get stacks from this shit, which goes off every time the tank combo happens and applies three stacks to the three players furthest away from the boss. You need to bait this at the back and rotate after every combo to keep the stacks evenly spread across your raid. On Heroic, these baiters will also deal AoE damage to anyone near them, so they need to spread. To drop your stacks, everyone needs to stack up. The boss burrows underground and leaves a big pool behind, then comes up underneath the group, deals massive damage, and throws everyone into the air. You need to get hit by this to drop your stacks, so no wandering off. And don't do it too often because the boss gets a damage buff. Now for the tanking shit. At 100 energy, the boss does this combo and cuts three times, and each one seems to be random between these two abilities. Rend just hurts, but when Riftmore is cast, you need to swap, because if you get hit twice before your debuff drops, you'll probably f***ing die. His also attack is like this bastard, and hits the tank and his next closest person. On normal, the tanks can stack, but on heroic, the combo turns into a frontal, so you need to spread. Speaking of melee, this throws shit at several players within 20 yards, so dodge it. Range just be further than 20 yards and you'll be fine. And this happens a lot, so have fun melee. A small tip, if the melee stack up and move as a group, you can bait them easily and you won't need to panic. But for real, it'll give you a 20% haste debuff. Don't do that to yourself. The last thing the boss does is a f***ing giant frontal cone on a random player, so get the f*** out of there. The flow of this fight is simple. Tanks on one side, melee on the other, and range stack behind them. And when the giant frontal happens, everyone move in the same direction. Stack up when you need to drop your stacks. Make sure you get hit by the boss, and everyone back to their starting positions. Easy. Congrats on killing this giant worm thing. And if that mage had lusted at the right time, maybe your log would be green instead of grey. I'll catch you in the next one.